but today I'm doing a vlog on my pesto chicken and for dessert a little surprise so I've already made the pesto which I made it with broccoli olive oil and lettuce I know weird lettuce isn't it usually nuts well we don't have nuts and we don't have basil so I worked with it it still tastes good we did have fresh garlic though so I put some of that in there but it looks good it tastes good so we're going with it so now I'm gonna set the oven to 400 because I don't want to over dry the chicken but I want it to cook. I want it to cook but I don't want it to over dry so we're preheating it now all right so we got our cheese which I got some ricotta cheese and I got some part skin mozzarella. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start shredding up the mozzarella. to wear an apron because I should Part of Rayleigh's, if people know Rayleigh's. What's another? I guess I don't know what another compartment of Rayleigh's. It's part of that family of groceries. Um, first, sorry. Happy face. Right. Now that that's over. Tragedy, it's not your style. Oh my gosh. mozzarella with the ricotta to make it a little bit more spreadable and and you know who could go wrong with ricotta cheese I love me some ricotta so I'm just gonna do that so I'm taking that putting it in a bowl shredded cheese. Alright. We are going to need this shredder bowl later, so 
clean that off camera. Me and my crummies. I hate crummies. I hate the crummies. Okay. So, got some ricotta cheese. Someday, maybe, when I have more time, I would make my own or get a better brand. But you know, things are the way they are. So, I, I actually really like Trader Joe's ricotta cheese, but I needed to get this quick. Alright. I hate these plastic things. Alright. Now, we're not going to use a whole entire bin because, wow, that would be a lot. Because we're also going to be using this for our dessert. I hate plastic stuff. Alright, that's enough. Now, I'm a cook that doesn't do... A, I don't do proper measurements. I just kind of eyeball it. So... Let's try two approximate tablespoons. See how that manage is. Don't you see that loveliness? Mm. Now ricotta cheese is not like cream cheese where it is more spreadable. Um, but I don't think cream cheese would have worked for my basil chicken. And I just really prefer ricotta cheese. Let's actually try some. That, that's good stuff. Okay. Now, I really want to just to kind of see I'm I'm just kind of mixing it together. And I'm going to add some salt and pepper into the mix. And we should be good to go. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Olive oil. Best thing. So what I'm doing is I'm going to put some olive oil. Put some in just a little bit. I'm going to dress this up a little bit. So let me move you over. So you want to see what I'm doing here? Okay. So that's in there. And I'm going to use some of the olive oil for something else. But for now, I want to... Now, you don't have to use olive oil in a, in a brush. So I'm using this Pyrex. It's usually done for grilling and other stuff. Now, I've thought of butter, which if you're cutting your, your, your fat would not have been the right choice. I am not cutting out much fat. So, so I'm just coating it for the chicken. So, all right. And here's my ricotta cheese all ready for you. Ready for the chicken. So now, what we're going to be doing, and oh, setting it for 400. So now we're going to get dessert ready, but first I need to cut up the chicken. So, okay. see you later. So I have my chicken. It's all ready. I'm drying it up. This is how I learned how to do chicken. Please tell me if this is incorrect. Again, my parents didn't cook. <laughs> My parents cooked, but yeah, it was called Michelangelo's Kirkland brand. So I just, I read and so what I'm doing, so this is just natural chicken breast defrosted and I'm going to split it open so we can insert the cheese. So if you get squeamish, you can turn your eyes. As I said, 
I've learned how to cook from books, from friends, giving me helpful suggestions. I know you're not supposed to cook towards you, but I haven't figured out, and hopefully you can see this in frame. So I'm just kind of doing like a, kind of an envelope. Food Network is my, was my teacher. So, so I'm just kind of making an envelope. All right, that's not a very good envelope. Not as good as the last one, but we'll, we'll deal, okay? So then we're going to do the cheese and the basil, excuse me, the pesto. So I'll be right back. All right. We have the chicken. We have the pesto, which has the saran wrap. So this goes my, and then we have our cheese. So what we're going to do, first, gotta get mine. So, I'm going to take an envelope, I'm going to take some of my cheese, and hopefully you can see it on frame. Yeah. Let's see if you can, yeah, okay. So I'm just going to scoop in the cheese oh sorry also want to put in I knew I forgot something I wanted to put in some olive oil first so which may make it a little oily but meh so you just kind of I'm pressing it in now this is going to be an experiment so I'm vlogging on an experimental recipe that I'm making as I said I don't do recipes I just kind of imagine them so then I'm going to take the pesto get another scoop see the pesto and I'm just going to dollop it in dollop it in we're going to be using the pesto as well as part of a, as part of our pasta. So we just put that in there, stuff it in. Alright. And then, brush on some olive oil. All right, so they're stuffed. I added a little extra layer of cheese because I had extra. And remember, I remembered I drizzled olive oil. I put some salt, pepper, and a little bit of Italian breadcrumbs. Not too much because, again, I don't want to overcarb ourselves. So we're going to put it in the oven. And we're, I'm going to put it in for 35 minutes just to see. And then I'll check it. All right. After this, I'm gonna start my pasta and dessert. Okay. So I have my pasta. It's a tri-colored spinach. I forget the orange. Um, and regular pasta. Two cups. Um, and I'm waiting for the water to boil. And then I decided, again, recipe off the cup, I'm going to make a pesto cream sauce. We'll see how it goes. Because the only thing is we have sweetened almond milk. That may not be good, huh? Because mm. we quit dairy. Not dairy dairy, because obviously the cheese, but we quit regular milk. Ooh. We do have Faya yogurt. Ooh, that's an idea. Hmm. do have some fire yogurt. So I'm going to use some of that. That will be nice and tart. So I'll see you on the so, flip side. So while 
the pasta is boiling and the pesto cream sauce is going, I'm going to start my dessert. So I'm going to do kind of like a French toast cannoli. I know, that sounds weird, but it's quite delicious. It Well, it will be. Um, <laughs> so first I'm going to make the batter. Um, so I'm gonna use some Ceylon cinnamon, some eggs, and just some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. That'll be nice. I ended up for the pesto sauce using the Faye yogurt. So, oops, hold on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack up some eggs because, like you do, you do. I'm gonna whisk that in. And then I'm gonna refrigerate this. I'm not gonna make the dessert just yet. But I wanna get it ready so that once we're done eating, I don't have to do this. You know, prep it. It'll be all ready. Okay. So let's add. A little bit. Again, I don't do measurements, as you know. So, oh, you know what? I need to shake this. One thing about almond milk that I wish I didn't have to do was shake. But it is better for you. And since I'm lactose intolerant, it's starting to be. And any sort of sugar, processed sugar at least. That should be good enough. Will cause me to go wonkers. So let's whisk that. I'm keeping an eye on my stuff too, so don't worry. I have a timer set. Okay. And you can just kind of see what I'm doing. Alright, I'm going to add some Cylon cinnamon. This I'm measuring because I don't want to put too much. So I'm just going to put one fourth teaspoon. Just not a heaping, just a. What was I putting that back? Alright, and then, yeah, that should be it for that. or the topping for my dessert. So, I'm gonna take the rest of this ricotta, get a brand spanking new spoon, and put that in there. Oh, I love ricotta. Now, if you know most ricottas, now, homemade ricotta and homegrown ricotta usually has a, has a nice flavor to it, but most store-bought ones, sorry, I'm gonna be rude. Mm, love it. Most store-bought don't have that much. It's not really that much of a... So, yeah. Now, as I said, it doesn't have that much of a taste. Now, I'm gonna put dark cocoa powder, which I got at Oak Town Spice Town in Oakland. And they, they say it's a rich chocolate flavor that brings to mind the classic Oreo. And there is no sugar whatsoever in their cocoa. So I'm just going to put a heaping half tablespoon in. And then another one. And then I, as I said, we're, we're trying to be a no sugar, um, no processed sugar. But as I, you know, you need to have some natural sugars. So we're going to, I'm going to put a little bit of honey in it. Just a little bit. That should be enough. Again, we don't want to put too much sugar because, you know, 
trying to kick the addiction, man. Trying to kick the addiction. So, I'm just mixing it in. I hope you can see. So, and this is going to be on top of the French toast that I that I'm going to make after dinner. The pasta is just cooling. All right. I think that is well blended. Let's try. Ooh. That's tasty. You know what? Let's add Let's add another teaspoon of that Oreo. And then I'm going to put a little dash of more honey just to, not too much, just a dash. There you go. Just a dash. It's probably not a tr traditional dash. It's a dash to me. this cool yes this looks like an Oreo the brass it's all one and then I am once I make the French toast once I make the French toast and whatnot I'm gonna put this on top of the French toast and then I'm gonna put some sprinkles of chocolate So it's 72% dark chocolate. Again, trying to cake the sugar. And it's fine to have natural sugar. Again, the pasta is going to add that sugar because carbs, carbs do become sugar. Um, cheese, it's a different type of carb, so it will process differently, so that's fine. Um, and we're getting our vegetables through the broccoli and the lettuce so but I like to add more vegetables but since I decided to make dessert I don't have time I would probably do a roasted veggie like roasted asparagus I think right? I think that's pretty cool another taste. I guess I should use a different spoon. <sighs> so many dishes. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That's much better. Okay. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't the way I liked. All right. So that is done. So now we're just waiting for the chicken. Waiting on the chicken, and we should be ready. Okay, the basil chicken, excuse me, the pesto chicken is done. Woohoo! So I'm just going to finish up washing the dishes, let it cool down a bit, and plate it. All right, so it is plated. And I'm just going to shred up some more of the mozzarella over, over the pesto pasta. And then we are going to eat. Alright, it's dessert time. So I'm going to take a cast iron skillet and some butter. Now I'm going to do a station of some sort. Okay, so I'm going to take some butter. I like a lot of butter. So, as I said, we're not really cutting too much of the fat. I'm going to take that. So we're just going to let that melt. And while that melts and gets warm, I'm going to start dipping the bread into this, which you guys remember the mixture. So I'm going to dip and soak the bread in that 
for the cast iron skillet. See in a bit. So the bread is probably too big for the bowl. So I'm kind of bending it, which makes it break. Crap. Sorry. But I'm kind of soaking it in. Okay. The other one is already on the skillet. Just making, making itself on the cast iron skillet. And I'll flip it, and then we'll top it off. All right, you guys, one is done. I'm gonna let it cool a little bit before we put the cheese, the cheese sugary thingy, because I do not want it to melt. But this one's on its way. This one is gonna be mine, but and then here's the dark chocolate ready to be sprinkled i'll show you the end result in a minute. and there you have it this is my french toast cannoli like thing i hope you liked it